Growing up in Brooklyn, I remember just going down to Sheep's Bay and visiting, you know, the pizzerias where they had the $1 slices and the small Cokes. You don't really see that nowadays. It's just changing. We're starting to see a lot of condominium buildings sprouting up throughout the area. People want to live in the neighborhood. It's, it's proximity to transportation. It's proximity to the beach, the nightlife scene. The Sheep's Bay Market has over 500 food and drink establishments alone. People want to be in Sheep's Bay. People are moving to Sheep's Bay, but it needs to almost reinvent itself. Sheeps are going to look beautiful. And I think this neighborhood start to be discovered because the, the price of the condos is still good. When I started over here, the business, I realized that they can buy a land in, in a reasonable price. And I always thought it, it's under market. It really should be more expensive. It was 450 a square foot. Now it's up to 750 a square foot. And besides, booking is booming all over. Only lately, City people, they start to move in, they're discovering there's a beach close by, they're discovering the neighborhood. Before this used to be in old buildings, but in the last few years, if you look at the Manhattan Beach, you look at the Ocean Avenue, you look at Amos Avenue, you see building, a new building coming up, and it's a more luxury buildings, it's more appealing. Maybe I think they need to give more attention to the commercial part. As a developer, it's very hard to find a place to do a commercial. Residential developers want to say, we don't need more office space out there. I disagree. It's, it's almost like saying, okay, you live in Sheeps at Bay, but you want to go ahead and commute to Manhattan, and you want to go ahead and commute to downtown Brooklyn and Long Island City. Not everybody wants to do that. The zoning is definitely an issue. Manhattan landlords don't feel that they could come that far out into Brooklyn and make the same type of rents that they're seeking out, like in downtown Brooklyn or Long Island City or Williamsburg. What makes Sheepshead Bay unique is that it is not the subject of an area-wide rezoning, uh, nor is one contemplated. So there is um, tremendous pent-up demand for quality rental housing. It's close to the ocean, and you know, no one has really focused on that amenity of uh, southern Brooklyn before. This was a vacant site when we acquired it. It was a surface parking lot, essentially. There are, there are very few sites like that. You could certainly tear something down and build bigger if the zoning encouraged that. But I think zoning will be an impediment to do a lot more of this. There won't be a lot more until the, until the rezoning happens, which may be a while. 91% of the submarket is zoned for residential use. Um, less than 5% of the submarket is zoned for commercial use. There's a lot of demand for office space, but there's not that much supply. So we're looking at about five to six million square feet of office space that's needed in Sheepshead Bay, and we only have around three and a half million. Commercial real estate in the area has been slow, even though the demand is out there. Medical office spaces are currently leased out of houses, believe it or not. You would think that they would prefer to be in professional office buildings. Legal teams, consultant teams, accounting firms, they're leasing out of retail spaces. We're talking about tenants less than 10,000 square feet, small teams, small firms. They just want professional use and the space is not out there. Manhattan developers don't want to come out there and deal with 7,500 square feet tenants. The developer that's going to consistently start building office buildings out there, class A or class B, they're going to profit from this in the long run. This whole market is consistently and gradually improving on its own. Even if Manhattan developers tend not to go into this market at the rate that they should be, I think the market is going to still be one of the best sub-markets in Brooklyn and overall one of the best neighborhoods in New York City.